Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. And this is congratulations, you made the first, got through the first hurdle in Toastmasters, which is to get up here and tell us a little bit about yourself, your icebreaker, you get up here and literally break the ice. And you did this very well. I very much admire people such as yourself. You come up here with English as a second or maybe third or fourth language and still manage to get through the entire presentation. And I commend you for that. If I tried to go to Ankara or Istanbul and do the same thing in your language, I would not get very far. So just being able to do that, I think, is, shows much of what skills you have and what you bring to the club and that you'll be showing us. If that weren't hard enough, you moved the lectern out of the way and basically didn't have any notes. And I can't even do that. So this also was, was a good sign. You'd had, I did see the post-it notes. You had the post-it notes stuck here in the lectern, so this half the room couldn't see them, but I could see them. <laughs> <laughs> and I only saw you really referred to them once or twice, and when you did, it was just a quick glance. And so I thought you handled that very well. It, was, it really wasn't a noticeable distraction on your part by having those, stick, those post-it notes. And thirdly, you had a very nice smile up here. You were, you were, you had a warmth that made us feel warm being in the same room with you and being ready to listen to you because we, we could see your sincerity just through the smile on your face. Now, with time, your confidence will get better. You were a little bit shaky, perhaps, but that's to be expected in an icebreaker speech, and it actually improved during the course of the speech. And as you go through the manual, you will get stronger and stronger with your confidence, where there's no doubt about the Jared charge up here, instead of just meekly moving the lectern out of the way, you'll heave the thing sideways back, <laughs> right, and, and you'll get there. So you're really on the right road. The only two things I would suggest is, first of all, because you, probably in your mind, you may be translating into English, you had a lot of gaps in there that took time, and as a result, you went over time. And I think without that, you would have made the, the, the time requirement. So what I would suggest is for the future speeches, for your future speeches, is make them a little shorter than you think they ought to be. In other words, if you have a five to seven minute speech, plan it out for four to six. And that gives you an extra minute up here to accommodate perhaps those translation lapses that would, would come up. And the second thing is, of course, with any international student coming to America, there's a pronunciation issue and you'll get that time but certainly you're better than some we've had through here in the years through here. So, uh, outstanding job with your icebreaker. Uh, don't, I guess you don't have your manual with you, but if you bring that next time, I'll be happy to fill that out for you and make sure you get credit for the speech.